Growing concerns over the number of brine injection wells in Trumbull County sparked a meeting in Warren today. 27 First News reporter Jeff Leff Coolidge was there. He has this story. They are destroying a road with what some trucks weigh. It was a packed house in the commissioner's hearing room in Warren this morning for the first of two meetings on brine injection wells organized by the Trouble County Engineer's Office. What we can do to protect the roads, you know, that's our job is to protect the roads and bridges. But then again, we're getting a lot of water from out of state. Trumbull County has the most injection wells in the state at 17. That's more than the entire state of Pennsylvania. A lawyer who is familiar with oil and gas laws spoke about homeowners' rights and says ballot objections are the only thing looked at by the Ohio Department of Natural Resources when they issue a permit, and most refusals are done for safety issues. Mary Swift of Vienna says she's concerned about truck traffic in the area of Matthew School. You know, the local control is not there for, for our community. It's not even there on a, on a county level. So now I'm wondering, well, what's next for us? You know, where do we look for answers? Most people tell us they're worried about water contamination and earthquakes. David Hill, who is not only the president of the Ohio Oil and Gas Association, but also owns both injection and oil and gas wells, says he hears the same concerns all over the state. Many of those people that had those concerns, we gave them the information. Then probably what they're going to do, they're going to go on the Internet, they're going to research it. You know, is that guy right? But we planted the seed, and I think that now they've got some more good information to work off of. Another meeting is scheduled for tomorrow night at 6 o'clock. In Vienna, I'm Trumbull County Bureau Chief Jeff Leff, Coolidge, WKBN 27 First News.